Well, hello there. This is Ghost Robo, and we are taking another look at Call of Duty Black Ops, this time with a game of Team Deathmatch on Nuketown. Um, and I wanted to make this video to show you some tips, uh, especially for beginners, an easy way to boost your kill death ratio, to get a high kill death ratio, or just to show off your friends uh, on this map, which is one of the most compact, if not the most chaotic map in the game. And it's very easy, especially if you're inexperienced. Just run around and rack up a ton of deaths <laughs> on this map. Um, so I'm, I don't claim to be the best Call of Duty player in the world. Um, so you're not going to see me go on a 30-0 rampage here. But this is kind of a foolproof way uh, to get a lot of kills and very few deaths if you want to improve your KD. Um, so we're starting off the FAMAS here. And actually, I don't really like many of the starting weapons whatsoever. Uh, you unlock the FAMAS at level 14. I didn't really get into a groove until then, uh, though I would recommend starting with some of the light machine guns. Uh, they seem to be the best early weapons. Okay, so what we're going to do here is hide behind this green fence thing. And if you start on the other side of the map, there's similar geometry that you can kind of hide behind. The main thing is obviously blocking yourself off so that you have a, what is this, like a 270 degree view, not a 360 degree exposure. And the main bottleneck of the map is between the two houses, so that's kind of what we want to avoid um, in order to have the highest kill-death ratio. Enemies are inevitably going to come behind the houses, so if you just hang tight and wait for a little bit and, and don't feel obliged to run into the mess, uh, you should be able to get quite a few. And if you look at what a lot of the beginner or unsuccessful Call of Duty players do, they're running around, you know, like a chicken with their head cut off, into the mess and into the fray, uh, and, and maybe they'll get 20 kills and 20 deaths, but ultimately that's not as beneficial to their team as someone who went 2-0, because 20-20 20 and 20 really makes no progress for your team, whereas 2-0 at least gives a little advantage. Uh, and there's a nice RC car kill, and we escape this one alive somehow. And, and if you wait long enough, the enemies should start spawning uh, where you're located, and then you can really rack up a, a handful of very easy kills. Um, you're not going to, again, go 25-2, and 30-0 with this strategy, but it at least will help you go, you know, 12-2, 10-0, 11-0, something of that sort. And again, that's that's a good good mark for your team, and a good mark for your kill-death ratio. Unfortunately, get the assist there. <laughs> I think assists are probably the most frustrating thing in Call of Duty or in any shooter. Uh, actually, I hate getting assists. It's like the kill is just stolen right from underneath your teeth. So if we just keep sweeping uh, back and forth here, checking the alleyways and checking the spawn area here, you really should have no problem surviving and picking guys off as they run across. For the most part, not even seeing you. Uh, and I got a napalm strike here. Um, which I don't really find very effective. I don't really get a lot of kills with it. I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> just aiming it wrong or putting it in bad spots, but there. Somehow we managed to kill no one with that, even though this map is the most chaotic. And again, you'll see on the little mini-map there, they're going to start spawning now uh, from this corner, and we can just pick them off one, two, very easily. And now we've got an attack helicopter, which should get us a few kills. Again, another kill streak that I don't feel is, is that good. Um, I haven't really gotten a ton of kills with it. Again, maybe I'm just getting unlucky placements. <laughs> but I've had more fun and more luck with the RC car than I have with any of the uh, higher stuff. And I've just started unlocking some of the later kill streaks, so who knows, maybe that'll change things up a bit. But again, we're sitting here at about 8-0, 9-0. There's our attack chopper getting a kill for us. Uh, and, and your teammates are going to kind of take care of the dirty work and get killed while we just sit back and, and pick off <laughs> some victims. Uh, and here's going to be two more. Again, this is pretty much a foolproof way. You just hide behind the geometry and wait for them to spawn or check your alleyways. Yeah, it's kind of camping. Yeah, it's kind of cheap. Uh, but, it, but if you're a beginner and you're not really familiar with the controls, uh, don't do that, actually. <laughs> that was a very terrible decision there. Uh, but, if, but if you're just starting off, this is a good way to get some kills, rank up, level up, get some points, uh, buy some new guns, and, and really start getting a flow. Yeah, we're 11 and 1. 11 kill death ratio. That's pretty darn stellar. So yeah, there's a very easy way to get a very high kill death ratio on Nuketown, which is a very chaotic and cramped map. So I want to thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we will see you later.